And thank you again, everyone, for the follows. Much appreciated. Did you like that there, Bob? Like the professionalism. Profe oh, mate, professionalism. I'm very surprised. I'm very I even surprised. literally muted myself, right, so that nobody heard me just chatting weird commands in the background. To Don't be fair, for the first, first 10 minutes, mate, I weren't sure if I was in the right channel with the right guy. Because <laughs> everything was running so smoothly, or what are you saying? Oh, just, <laughs> just a vocabulary, isn't it? It's, it's a lot different. <laughs> 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 the vocabulary is a lot different. Oh man. So again, only one musket for an Eden and two for the attackers this time. It's a love and devotion. I think they definitely showed like muskets are not going to be for this map at least as yeah. key. But I, I, I don't know. Like for the defense, if they'd had maybe. Three or four muskets on the defense, then they can when they tried pushing walls. through, yeah, yeah, as as well, yeah, peppering the walls. And then when the main push come as well, there would have been like six sets of caltrops out, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, exactly, exactly that. As you know, what that four rolls will kill pretty much any unit. Also, oh, Eden are just going to pull straight back to the end point, or am I mistaken? If they're pulling back to the end point, they're going to get guys on the artillery by the looks and see what damage they can do. Uh, but it looks like they're just going to abandon A and B. No, I think maybe they're using the culverins at the top. Yeah, um, no, but look at how much many units are already stacked inside. Well, I think, I, I guess I think they they're not going to counter. defend properly. No, maybe they thought the counter of the, the push track that they done was obviously very, very effective. So maybe they're thinking they've, they've that... they've stacked up to basically stop a similar push working against them, basically. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Yorkshire Pudding? GG boys better without bait gaming. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, Dave or Yorkshire Pudding is a, a member of Eden. I've been told as well he's like their worst player, so... <laughs> if he's giving people shit, boys, we all know the truth now. <laughs> Love you, Dave. <laughs> right, what units are, uh, are out at the moment? So Eden have got a lot of static units and they've pulled most of it back already. The attackers, nowhere near as many outriders as they just had us defending. There's only four sets of Shenzhen out for Eden as well. Okay. Four sets of Keshig. They've got a lot of static units though. Okay. Yeah, look, they're not bothering, they're just pulling all back. Look, every single one of them, they'll close the gates, give up basically the whole map. Yeah, it's a good shout, man. No no artillery, so there's going to be no mortars getting placed down to just bomb the crap out of this stuff. Or bomb the crap out of this stuff, Trebs aren't going to hit any of it. So well, if, if you're not using any units on A, B or C, then you, you can got... afford to absorb a few Trebs as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah. I think love and devotion to see pretty goddamn quickly that there's there's nobody in the city. Um, yes, yeah, so they're on A and B already. They're already rushing around to C. They're gonna get the resupply. No Nam cams on the attackers team, but they do have um, houndsmen out. So they're not gonna have the bleed effect like what um, Eden did when they took the wall. So I wonder if they're gonna be able to stop. Them. Yeah, I suppose they can grenade the top of the wall. Well, no, you don't. You don't need the bleed effect. It, it is the just like getting hit with it? arrows. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but they don't have any. What's that? The houndsman would do. But they've only got one set of archers. Saying that Eden only had one set of Namcam. But... but how long are they gonna have to defend this endpoint for? Then, like fifteen minutes. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, he's just been picked up. He got too close and got mauled. <laughs> Grats just got ruined. Oh, first death. <laughs> got fucking grabbed by a mole. Did overnight just accidentally roll off the wall? Right, overnight. Get a grip, boy. Oh, is he going to die now as well? Is that? Oh, he managed to dodge back in. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if one of them gets grabbed by a mole again. Well, as, as we like to say, that was definitely the shizzle effect. Yeah. Ramal just comes out and he's just like, Strike a row, I choose you. 
just rags him straight in and gets him straight away. But fuck, it's like, oh. The Papa that Bear. It's so annoying. You think you're safe yeah. in the midst of a unit, and then all of a sudden you're just being carried 50 foot. Yeah, the game's just like, nah, this is fine. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Mole Grab is probably the worst, let's be real. They're going to push the far eastern side of the what unit they got here, Modal. If they actually climb up with Modal, though. Uh, Matt X is already kicking down ladders, though. I got a feeling Eden's got a lot more moles out on the defense. Isn't that four? Mm, no, they had four on the attack. Yeah. Quite a few Polax as well. They've got a Glaive in the background. They've climbed up the mid wall here, but as of yet, with no units. That Treb could be good, though, but they've they had nothing to basically pin them there, so they've managed to dodge it. Grey Air Garrison. Oh. Well, that's going to be an annoying unit to get rid of. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good ladder unit. The attackers don't have the Houndsman out anymore. I don't think they would have lost them yet, though. That's who you want to finger as a reward. A reward for what? Being banished's most average player. <laughs> 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 what was my word in the other day? Disgustingly average. <laughs> I think I think you got competition for that though, that's a... <laughs> What's that? When did he get back here? Samurai's just like, nah boys, this is fine. Oh. <laughs> when did he get in the back of it? I missed completely missed it. Striker road is up somewhere as well. So a lot of the attackers have died so far. Well a lot. I mean none of the defenders have found away. They've lost six heroes though so far. The defenders none. Um, he says, and then Pepper Thor dies. Oh, them grenades over the wall, though. That is cheeky, man. That just got quite a few kills as well. Did a little yeah. bit of damage as well, so they're going to have to pull back. They can just go and get ammo. Oh, there we go. Mole, the mole strike it straight into the Fort Brachios. Oh, they threw him too far. Never mind. <laughs> War Farfu's there. I think more people have died to Maul in this fight <laughs> than anything else. What's the score? No trick. So Eden won their attack. And I'd say they're probably happy so far with their defense. If they can keep control of them walls, then it's going to be very, very hard. Yeah, I mean, they don't have flames out, though, do they? No, they've got one set of flames. No, they've got two sets of flame, I'll show up. The War Farfu's over this side, and he's got flames, which means the flames is going to be over here somewhere. Is that the mirror? Oh, that's Shenzhen. No, probably behind the house, mate, to be fair. Tuck Can't around the corner. Here. here? Yeah, that's where... Yeah, there they are, look. Just chilling here. This guy wants yeah. new armor, look. He's like, my skin's crap, right? I want this helmet, and I want that, that chest piece. Oh, no, he's just gone. Mass is like, no, dude, you're not getting anything. Oh, what have I done with the mouse? Ugh. The hell? The camera's just gone really weird. There we go. I accidentally stole. Dual blade in the back. What are you doing? Are you going to try going for the flames over here? No. I don't think he's going to do much, though. Is he just going to try getting like a little bit of cap point off or what? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Or is he? Matt X is after him. Is Zenga just going to pick him up though and murder him? Well, they, to be fair to these oh, no, mobs, they, they've been pretty spot on with their grabs. Yeah. Yen just died. I think that was over that side though. Or did they climb the wall? Mm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, yeah. Yeah. Aww. An another mall strikes again. It's, it is hard, isn't it? Because they need, obviously, Eleventh version need to keep poking their eyes in to just to see what's about, but Eden's moles are just literally just grabbing them constantly uh, and ruining their day. I mean, at least they're not using losing units, but they are definitely losing time. Like Love and Devotion, are gonna have to do they're gonna have to do something. Like they can't just not attack and like sitting here the whole time and getting grenaded is not is not a good way to go. No. Because on this on this like outside bit of wall here between the two bridges, they've been constantly getting grenaded by the Shenjins in here. Um and if they let that build up, they're gonna be in they're gonna be in trouble. I mean, 
troops dead for the... I said it's only 19 units. That's, I'll shut up. They've not lost many. <laughs> no, but if it's 19 Senjis, then that could be a, a big key unit. Um, yeah. If I was if I was loving devotion at the moment, I'd, I'd probably get a couple of set of Senjis and try and bomb the ladders while climbing just yeah. to this formation just make sure to you get can presence get on the wall. I mean, they've got Reapers up on the wall now as well. Yeah, but... Got uh, javelins. You've got to have a trade-off, haven't you? Yeah. Like, if you can draw them into Trebs and you lose your unit, but you wipe out two, then... Yeah. It's they've still got 12 Trebs as well. They haven't really Trebbed much. I mean... I feel like this is where the main push is going to come from because they've got a lot more stuff stacked up over here, but they're not really going. But Small grab around, ain't nothing compared to that resistance. left corner of that back gate is is really effective. We um, when we was playing earlier, a few of us were doing it, and it it is actually a lot safer than being on the right. Yeah. Can they actually shoot anything for it? Is that like a glitch that they can shoot through the wall? Oh, now comes the push. Here we go. Are they pushing both sides? They are pushing both sides. The attackers have got flames up as well. They've neutralized the right side by the looks of it, but the defenders... Oh, Forsaken Octavian's on them, though. We've got Shenjin's there. Nice. Back corner. It's one hero, two heroes lost on both sides. Oh, difficult. I'm trying to see what's going on on both sides here. Yeah, I think they've lost the main gate push. That was a good trip, though. Yeah. These flamers, unfortunately. Also, that Ke Samurai Kek and Rink have just jumped on these flamers. If they can get rid of them. Obviously, getting rid of the Shenjins would be nice as well. Oh, all nice Shenjins. Yeah, nice I Shenji think they've just got rid of the flamers. Yeah, all the flamers are gone. There's a couple of Shenjins still up, but that's not a problem. Ein Heri's blocking the, the base line off, if you like. The main route's okay. This side got completely nerfed. Yeah, that side got completely pushed back. They are now pushing onto the wall. Or the Bamberino. Or is he just going to make them sit there so we can treble? Yeah, yeah. See, that, that's perfect. That's, that's a good that's shot. That's the kind of play yeah. you want. Didn't do too oh. much damage. Oh, Trebbed in so. I think I've seen that. The Iron Reaper's just lost quite a bit, man. The attacker's pulled back out. Wait, what? When did that happen? Or did they get pushed out and I didn't see it? Rinker. All right, Rinker's got out. Cool. So that attack there, definitely unit-wise, favoured the defenders. They definitely lost the unit of flamers, though. Matt X has still got his up. I think that was the ones that were over here. They still just sat here, are they? But only two of them. And after he's down, Matt X... Don Dolores has now got set out. Oh, and Vasectomy's got his as well. So I take it Vasectomy is going to go side gate with his. That's uh, such a good line. Vasectomy, yeah. I was looking at it before and I was like, wait, is that actually Vasectomy? But it is. I wonder if he's actually got a Vasectomy though. <laughs> <clears throat> so I, I need to ask him this afterwards. It's like, have you actually had your knob chopped off? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's, got 15, he's got 15 kids running about. Full, no, that's enough. Yeah. I can't, can't pay the benefits anymore, please. <laughs> It's either get a, his wife's like, get a vasectomy or we get a new house. And he's like, I don't have the money, please. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know vasectomy, so I hope, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully he's not like, who the fuck is this knobber with nine fingers, right? Taking the mick out of me. Well, I'm afraid vasectomy, right? You're going to have to live with it. <laughs> oh, there's the pump. Wee, or... you can have, no, but you can have it reversed, can you not? I think you can, yeah. It but just, then you have to like, swap out your wife, get like a newer model and shit. <laughs> <laughs> get divorced. Yeah. Get, get, get your bank account ruined. I mean, I don't know. Go 15 years younger. There we go. <clears throat> they're making the push on the side gate now. It looks like they're putting no pressure on the main gate this time. Uh, so Eden are going to rotate, or they're going to have to rotate. That's a good IPG walker. Let's zoom in on this. See, this is where I'd take advantage of getting the walls. I would have had a 10 man maybe come through the gate and then everyone go up top. Yeah. Don Dolores' flames in the background there, though, doing work. Both sides. Oh, yeah. Vasectomies are on this side as well. Yeah, yeah. I think Vasectomies just lost his unit, though. Yeah, Vasectomies just lost his unit. We got cavalry coming from behind, though. That was actually the attacker's cavalry, though. So the attacker's now in on the side gate fully. We've got. 
Because that's ghost exes. Ooh, they just... L Why? He just lost loads of dudes. Okay, they called him back. I thought he was going to try blocking off the supply point. Dundalorus' side is still doing work, though. They've got a lot of Fort Brachios left still. The Flamers is only two units. The attackers Flamers, though. Okay. That's a lot of Keshigs out for the attackers. Ooh, yeah. So yeah. Five, six sets. In. They've broke that push. Definitely. Yeah. They've got through. Well, we've got a blocking here. Palace Guards, but they've got Cavalry in the back lines. Namil. Then you've got Forsaken Munchucks just being picked up, and he just got ruined by Peppertors Keshigs, I think. They're just setting up here now. They're going to have to... Iron Hen Harry's in the background here, just being a pain. I think he's just lost the majority of his unit, though. I think he didn't have the advantage was they haven't lost a lot of heroes, have they? So their spawn, nah, spawn time was so a lot quick quicker. There. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 8 against 14 now. Uh, they're getting a few dudes in, like Keshigs and stuff, but they're just going to get overwhelmed here. Look at the numbers that Eden's got already. And obviously, they're, it's not just that they're respawning quicker, so they've died less. Their route's a lot shorter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these guys here are going to get over uh, overwhelmed from love and devotion. It was a good push, though. I was, yeah, uh, like, they definitely won the push for it. It was just unfortunately that the advantage of the heroes just spawn time. Five minutes. Main gate side, they're not going out. I think the side they're not either. I think they've just been called back. It looked like they were going to follow it first, but they haven't. I think this time though, as well, unit wise. Eden are winning by, what, 50 units? Um, there's no Flamers now, though, for Eden. They've got a sh set of Shenjins up. So, quality-wise, oh, they've lost a little bit. They've got a couple of Outriders. They've got Prefecture Pikemen. But, yeah, but the fact the there's Pikemen no... Yeah, Prefecture Pikemen are hero killers, mate. If you, yeah. if you hold and they get them... the instant charge as well. Yeah, if you hold them for when people are already in fight. Same with Lenshnex. Like, they're instant hero killers. Are they going to go for a main gate push this time? I'm going to watch the attackers where they're going and try and move where their main main group goes, to be fair. The attackers have still got two sets of Keshigs up, two sets of Outriders. The defenders have got a set of Keshigs, no, two sets of Keshigs. So Ghost X and... I'm not even going to try saying that name. Looks like they're going to go main gate, though. Well, if they, if they kind of just poke their heads in and draw them in, then they can use the last traps a bit more effective. Yeah, they've still got eight of them as well, so... Yeah, it's going to be a full main gate push, look. The problem we're doing this is, look, Eden have just completely stacked up over there, so they're going to have everything to stop them. Mm. I mean, going through one thing and Eden's got their Shenzhen, a set of Shenzhen's up, so they can just bomb this area here. Like, literally, when they push through, and they've just completely stopped the push. Oh, that's a good wall presence, though. Yeah. Palace guards up there are going to do work as well. Mm, do I work. don't know about the trip. There's a unit of pallet. I think it'll get stopped by the, the wall there. The main push is coming through now. I'm going to swap sides. Bot Brachios there from the defenders. Uh, attackers, sorry. They've pushed through pretty well going on to the resupply side. Back gate's completely empty. Nobody's pushing through it. Loving Devotion are doing good, man. They're pushing towards the resupply. Yeah, yeah, they've got through well. They're blocked off so that they can just push to the back supply. They've got one like un uh, one hero advantage, two euros advantage now. They need to get rid of the Shenjins that are here, though. Yeah, they've got a couple of Shenzhen's here they need to push into. I think Bamberino's going to go from now, though. 10 against 9, though, and because Eden have died less, are oh, they getting the resupply? And they've got the shorter distance. They're going to be able to re like, get their stuff back a lot quicker. Well, are they going to try and block off their spawn, maybe? It, it does look like it. Looks like it, yeah. If they can clear, they need to clear the point, though. Well, if it's only heroes that's on point, you, once you block off the spawn and deal with it, you can... These Keshigs could be huge. Oh, the Fort Brachios weren't stunned. Oh. They got hit by a, a belly flop, though, from Zenga, I think that was. Keshigs are still alive, though, and they are clearing a lot of the stuff out there. Eight against six. Oh, they didn't, hold the, they didn't hold the spawn. Here comes the reinforcements. Yeah. It's like Gorka's unit. No, Gorka's got Madao. 
Here comes actual though. Shortest through that trip could be huge if it lands in time. Well, there it so. comes. Yeah. Are they actually? Oh, oh no, wait, actuals wait, wait. on the point. Vasectomy's on the point. Vasectomy's changed class like three or four times, I think. I'm sh he was definitely a Polax before when I was ripping him forever in a vasectomy. So it's a good shout just to get that extra little bit of sustainability on the point. You only need to last 50 seconds. Well, we get six a hero though. Tug now. They could do this. They got Keshigs alive. Love and devotion. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Namio's on point now though with short sword. Loads of the Eden guys have just changed to short sword, the ones that are all coming back in just for the extra survivability with iron sides. Twelve against five though. I think Love and it's Devotion get this. Then you get then you get Namio. Well no, not anymore. Not with Denbro no. on there. I was General Reeves just got in Dundalorus. Yeah. Good play though by Eden. Look how many of them are short sword now. Like, literally, apart from one short bow, every single one of them that's respawned back in is a, is a short sword. Just literally jump on the point, push iron sides, and hope for the best. That was what? very close. Very close. Yeah. GG well, well both teams to... there. Holy crap. So what were you going to say? Oh, so well played to both. Like, obviously, Eden holding on for the short sword strap there, but good, some good pushes from the back gate, which was actually the one area I thought Eden would have held quite easily. Yeah. That was very well played, man. GG both teams. Let me give them a click in the Discord channel as well. Right. What we got here, so Namio was the best player on Eden's side. I think he was like second on the last battle as well, weren't he, Namio? Yeah, yeah. He plays on both teams, man. Like 170 unit kills for Armageddon. I didn't see what units he was using, but that is disgusting. Very well played. You got post. Yeah, everything was just. He's good. He's a good player. He's, he's good with short bow and musket. Right. Ugly.